Arts. Arts Lords, Afghanistan. Three decades of war have divided Afghanistan. Violence from terrorist groups and drug lords have stoked fear within the population. While the wealthy hide from violence and crime behind huge blast walls, the rest of the country are left to fend for themselves. Journalists, activists and artists have been threatened and killed. Amongst the chaos, one group is nurturing hope. Art Lords is a grassroots movement of artists and volunteers. They are turning Afghanistan into a canvas by encouraging citizens to paint on the blast walls about the issues they confront in their daily lives. Themes within the paintings include corruption, women's rights and polio eradication. The murals criticise the rich and powerful, such as the painting of a black SUV which reads What are you carrying? That your windows are black, you don't have a licence plate and you don't stop for searches. Their most famous artwork, I See You, vanished days after completion. The piece depicted a pair of eyes, painted onto the walls of the National Directorate of Security and was a warning to corrupt officials. Other paintings celebrated women who died serving Afghanistan and victims of random violence. On International Women's Day, March 2018, they painted Professor Hamida Bamaki, a human rights defender who lost her life in a terrorist attack. Their work has turned a symbol of fear, tension and separation into a platform where social issues can be expressed visually, creating a space for conversation. Art Lords are working in conditions where they're facing threats. They are standing up for something in a country where they face persecution for doing so and I think it's really important that their message is heard. Art Lords has been threatened many times. They've been accused of being infidels, being CIA spies and standing against Sharia law. Despite this, they've completed over 400 murals in 16 provinces of Afghanistan, winning acclaim and becoming a beacon of hope in the country. Al Medina for Performing and Digital Arts, Egypt. Under the regime of President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, Egypt's civil society is under attack. Websites are blocked, arts are tightly regulated. Festivals are now illegal without government approval. Most strikingly, public demonstrations and artwork have been criminalised. This means that things like dancing and protesting can land you in jail. But one group, El Medina for Performing and Digital Arts, is doing just that. Engaging the public in demonstrations, the group is defying the country's repressive laws on free expression. They combine art and protest by blending street theatre, dance, storytelling, artistic training and grassroots advocacy. Their performances touch on issues of human rights and citizenship. Street Carnival 2015 to 2016 was a series of performances showcased in marginalized areas of Egypt. Another performance, Street Theatre in Egypt, challenged the country's protest law. El Medina is a really exciting project and piece of work that engages the public in the work of art and activism and that's really important at a time when the spaces for public demonstration, public protest and art are all being closed down by the Egyptian authorities. The group have come under increasing pressure from authorities and had to close their office in 2017. They face unofficial interrogations, trouble receiving funds, denial of event approvals and being put on a list of tracked people to be investigated before travelling. Their bravery against the odds is inspiring. In a place where public space and artistic freedom is shrinking, El Medina is battling to transform marginalised areas into thriving environments of free expression. Miss Safa, Saudi Arabia, Australia. Miss Safa is a self-exiled Saudi street artist. She uses murals to highlight women's rights and human rights violations in Saudi Arabia. Using her art as a tool, she has challenged the Saudi government and the suppressive regulations which dictate the lives of Saudi women. Unfortunately, challenging Saudi leadership has become increasingly dangerous, especially since Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's rise to power. Ms. Safa has already faced interrogation and her passport renewal has been denied, stranding her in Australia. Despite her setbacks, she continues to collaborate with artists from around the world. In 2018, she worked with renowned illustrator Molly Crabapple in a tribute to murdered journalist Jamal Khashoggi, which read, We Saudis deserve better. I Am My Own Guardian is another of her most famous works. The series protests the restrictive Saudi guardianship laws which mandate that women must have a male guardian's permission to get married 
undertake education, travel, work, and even open a bank account. She said, my personal experiences with imposed male standards on Saudi women have influenced me to become an uncompromising feminist with an intersectional perspective. Miss Safar is really inspiring because she's actually highlighting the reality of what Saudi women have to deal with. They are living the handmaid's tale in reality in 2019. And I think it's really brave the fact that she's challenging these things and just not accepting it as the norm. In 2018, on the week of International Women's Day, she created a mural in Sydney featuring two Saudi activists who were imprisoned on terrorism charges. She's received international acclaim through social media, despite being subject to online abuse. By defiantly pursuing her art, she is challenging the cultural perceptions of Saudi women, their individuality and their autonomy, one mural at a time. Zera Doin, Turkey Zera Doin is a Kurdish painter and journalist. In 2016, she was imprisoned for her art. Doin used to work in Nusaybin, a Kurdish town caught in the crossfire between Turkey and Kurdish militants. She moved there to report on the conflict. After realising her reports were being ignored by mainstream media, she began painting the destruction and sharing it on social media. She focuses on striking dark political scenes as well as colourful scenes of traditional Kurdish life. Her most well-known artwork adapted a Turkish army photograph showing armoured vehicles devouring civilians. Because of this painting, she was arrested as witnesses testified that she was a member of an illegal organisation. Although she received no sentence, she remained in prison until December 2016. In March 2017, she was sentenced to almost three years for propaganda. Zara's work clearly has an astonishing energy, and that energy exists in the work itself and how tireless she appears to be. In, in producing work, whether she's inside prison or outside prison, and continuing to stand up for the issues that she believes in. Media, academic freedom and artistic freedom have all come under attack. More than 60,000 people were arrested around the same time as Zara. Against the odds, Doan has continued painting in prison. She makes paint from fruit, herbs and even blood. She makes brushes from feathers, and uses newspapers and milk cartons as canvases. In retaliation, security guards have seized and destroyed her paintings and have punished her with a communication ban. Earlier this year, Doan was released. In New York, Banksy created a huge mural in her honour. Her determination has attracted the attention of artists around the world.